Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at how to graph y is equal to sine x or the sine x parent graph. So what we need to start with is a unit circle. So I've pasted in a unit circle on the screen and then we need an x and a y axis and on the x axis we have our radians for one full circle labeled and that's pi halves, pi, three pi halves, and two pi. On the y-axis, I've labeled from um, 0.5 to 1 and negative 0.5 to negative 1 on the y-axis. Now, what we're going to do is we are going to highlight um, our, our x and y-axis points to help us graph this. So let me grab my highlighter, and we're going to highlight one two, three, four, five main points that run along the sine curve. Now the first one, I'm going to take each of these values and I'm going to read it off the unit circle. So when x is zero, what is sine x? So where is sine x zero? Let's go to the unit circle and read the sine. Well the sine at zero is zero because we know it is the y-coordinate of this ordered pair. Okay, so at what is the sign of pi halves? Well, let's go to pi halves and read the sign, the y-coordinate, which is the sign, and that's positive 1. And then we're going to go to sine of pi. So over here, sine of pi, that's back to 0. And then we're going to go to sine of 3 pi halves. That's down here on the negative y-axis. And the sine is a negative 1. And all the way around to 2 pi, we're back where we started on the unit circle. And we know that is 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plot these points. So we're going to start at the origin because sine starts at the origin. And then when we get to the angle pi halves, our output is 1. When we get to the angle of pi, our output for sine x is 0. When we get to 3 pi halves, that is negative 1. And when we get to 2 pi, we get 0. Now, I'm going to cycle through this so you can see a full cycle. And what I have just drawn on this x and y axis is what's called one full period of sine, where you're going all the way around the unit circle and you've looped to graph these five main points, which is where you start all the way around the circle and where you end up where you started. And there's a full sine curve. Now you can evaluate these points in between and you'll find that like, for example, sine of pi fourths, that is the square root of two over 2. You can read that off the unit circle. That's right. Oh, that's actually right in between here. But the decimal version of that is 0 0.707. So that's going to graph halfway in between here and be right here. So you can see you can plot other points on the curve, but those are the five main points you need to graph to create the sine function. So I hope this video was helpful. How you can take the unit circle, take the y values, which are the sine values, and stretch them out on the x-axis and using the y-axis, and you can see what the sine curve looks like for one period. So the period for a, cos uh, a sine curve is the length of 2 pi because it encompasses the distance of one full cycle. I hope this video was helpful on how you graph sine y, sine of x.